Hey everyone, it's Natalia Eileen. It's good to see you. I'm here with a behind the scenes look into what I have in my bag. Yes, I'm gonna be talking through what I take to work every day, especially now that we're going back to the office. If you don't know who I am, my name is Natalia Eileen. I am a diversity, equity, and inclusion consultant. I actually own a consulting firm that does strictly diversity, equity, and inclusion work. We're called Scene at Work. And if you're curious about the work that we do there, you can take a look at our YouTube channel, Scene at Work. It's linked below, so you can take a look. But on this channel, I talk about all things personal. I like to show you behind the scenes and like to help inspire and encourage all of you who are thinking about starting your own business, your own company, or who are just looking to follow your dreams to do so. And sometimes I think showing off a little bit of the life behind the scenes kind of helps inspire that and spring that. So that's what this channel is all about. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I try to post every week, but as you know, being a CEO and leading this kind of consulting firm can be really tricky. So try my best people. Hopefully you enjoy the content that I do get out there. So like I said, today I'm going to share with you what is inside of my bag. So here it is. This is my bag. I take this to work now whenever I go to the office. Yes, we are back in the office. And I got to say, as much as working from home has been really nice, I am so grateful to be back in the office. <laughs> okay, so this bag, just so that you know, it is a Dagny Dover bag. I had been looking for a bag for a while and of course Instagram heard me somehow and showed me some uh, advertisements for this bag and I went ahead and purchased it. So it's the kind of bag that's kind of wide, there's a lot going on inside. At first I didn't love that it didn't have a zipper or something to close it with but I've kind of gotten over that and now I use it every day. So let me talk through what's in my bag because I think this can always be a, a fun topic. I know that I've watched a lot of these kinds of YouTube videos before and I thought why not, especially since I'm out here packing this bag every day. Okay, so let's get started. This bag is kind of a bag of bags because in order to make sure that everything is organized, I've had to put everything into bags. So let's start with bag number one. This here is a shoe bag. And this shoe bag is where I keep my flats. I often will wear heels to work or at work, but will, you know, on the subway and all of that, we'll wear some flats. So this bag has my flats in them. There's some classic flats that I could also wear in the office if I really wanted to. So there's that. The next thing I have here in my bag is this bag here, it is a makeup bag. It says the most interesting people live in Brooklyn and I've had it for a long time. Um, uh, it was gifted to me a while ago by a coworker and I'll just share with you what's inside of it. I have two beauty blenders, one for concealer and one for blush. And then I have my concealer, which, you know, I put this on. I have a very low maintenance makeup routine. It's, it's comical how low maintenance it is. So I'll put on concealer and that's what I do. It's from Sephora. I then also have this Lash Paradise Voluminous Lashes. It's mascara. I don't even know what brand this is, but I really like this mascara actually. And then I have here a Revlon eyeliner. Wear this every day, just right above the crease of my eye. I'm not a makeup person. I just, I like makeup, but I've never done all of the research. And I know there's so much here that people are probably like, what, she wears that? I don't know. L'Oreal, this is a eyeliner. And I actually have another one of those lash pencil things. So I have two of those. And then I have this, Rare Beauty blush, that's what I use with the beauty blender. And I have another eyeliner in here apparently. And then I have a few hair ties because you can never have too many of those. And I have this Sephora blush as well. Super quick, super easy, but I like having all of this in my bag because you never know when you're gonna need a little touch up or when you're going into an important meeting. The most interesting people live in Brooklyn, don't you forget it. Okay. What else is in here? That was just one bag. We have my water bottle. You gotta stay hydrated. This 
water bottle is named Beatrice. I've named her because it helps me feel more attached to her. My goal is to drink four of her every day. So I have to get to drinking. She's clearly halfway full. Let me put her up out here. Let's see. Now we have a small bag. This bag is where I keep a lot of different wires. I'll walk through some of them with you just so that you get a sense of what I'm talking about. I have here my headphones. These are my Beats. I wear these all the time while working out and sometimes while in the office when I have some work time. So let me go ahead and take these out so that I can keep track of what I've talked about. I also have my uh, charger for my, my iPhone. I smile because everybody who knows me knows that my iPhone is always dead and I hardly ever use my charger, so working on that. I also have this little pouch that was given to me by a coworker years ago and it's where I keep my headphones. My headphones right now are over there on a table, but I also have my little headphones adapter in there, so this is very useful. Then I have another charger, it's all these Apple products we got going on. This is my Apple Watch charger. It's got my Apple Watch. Got to have that. So I'm going to put this over here. What else we got? What else we got? I have a clicker for any presentations that we do. I, before COVID, would do presentations like it was nobody's business. Presentations, workshops, all the like. And so having a really strong clicker was huge. <laughs> And this one's my favorite and it's going with me wherever I go. So that's why it's in my bag. Uh, I also have a block for all of those chargers. You need that. I have a charger for my other chargers. Those like, I need to charge my phone. So I have a block, right? This is for the away block. I keep that thing everywhere I go, although it's not in here right now. And again, I'm smiling because I'm notorious for not having a charger or for not keeping my phone charged. I also have a USB port in here, USB just in case we need to put things away. This one actually is from Facebook. I've had it for a long time, but there are no Facebook things in here. It's all personal, <laughs> I promise. We had a bunch of flash drives that we would give away to candidates and um, sometimes you get to keep the things that are extra. This is an adapter, it's for uh, Europe. So sometimes we travel out to the EU and having an adapter is really important. And then I have some washi tape. Not sure why I have this, probably for my planner, which I'll talk about in a second. I also have here my name tag from Morton. Don't need that anymore, but it's in there. And I have some hair ties. Cause I always need to have some hair ties just in case. Great. That was probably the most exciting bag in this bag. Just saying. I also then have my keys. These keys are actually um, some keys for the office for our, our team. So I need to hand these out to some, some of our team members, which is fun and exciting. I have another bag in here. This bag just has my computer charger. So nothing too exciting, just one charger in here. And I can tell the difference between these two bags because one has a black bottom and the other one has a brown bottom. And I am really grateful for these. I use these a lot. Got them on Amazon. Okay, we're almost through the bag. I have my checkbook in here, this is important. I have some pens in here and a highlighter, also important. I have a little zipper in this bag where I keep some feminine products like tampons. You gotta have those around just in case. And we have another pocket here at the edge showing you there. That's where I have my planner. It's my ARC planner. So maybe you've heard of ARC before. I like ARC because you can um, pull out pages and move them around. And so I have my notes in there. I have my to-do lists in there. I'm the kind of person who likes to go between the digital and the analog. So that's what that is. And then I have another pocket and that's where I keep my laptop. Ooh. So. Mm. That was the stylus. I'll pick that up later. Okay, 
That's almost everything. The last thing I'll talk about is this small pocket on the edge here. This pocket all the way on the back is where I keep my cell phone. I also have in this pocket a little tea bag. It's some jasmine green tea just in case I want some tea. I'm a tea drinker, y'all. All right, there you have it. Is there anything in here that surprises you? Or is there anything in here that you think I should not be carrying? Because I've been told before that I carry too much. Comment below to let me know. <laughs> and thanks for hanging out with me again. Feel free to like this video or subscribe for more content like this. Just some behind the scenes on day in the life, uh, as a leader, CEO, as a manager, and as a diversity, equity, and, and inclusion consultant. Talk to you later. Several people have reminded me that today is Groundhog Day, which I guess explains why there's a giant groundhog on my screen. I guess, sure.